break this shit down mathematically. So you subtract certain groups, you multiply the ideas of those groups left, and you keep those subtracted groups divided up. And what does that equal? A capitalistic republic that I know is corrupt. But I mean, when I speak up, motherfuckers look at me like shit, I still don't add up. Well, then, well, don't confine me. My God, folks, misconceived of me because of the shit they receive from TV from what? Television. <laughs> Get it? Television. Fuck that, I tell my own business, but I keep sorry because I really don't want to end up a real politician for the government to kill and throw in prison again. Because ain't it funny how every time somebody represents the underrepresented people, they mysteriously missing the no longer living them. I'm trying to be up here refraining from being a hypocrite and not trying to use oxymorons like anti imperialist Christians. Shit, I don't think I'm always supposed to say that. <laughs> I mean, but if y'all do, fuck it, because people who make points are usually label crazy. And, I mean, I'm not trying to judge nobody up here, because Pete Game, all right? I'm talking all this anti-capitalist shit, but if you look at me every other day, I'm rocking some Air Nikes. And I mean, I try not to, but I was told visions by televisions as early as you were. Reading books about the same ass white history that you learned. From shooting dice to breaking fillies and dodging cops on that street curb, and like most people, Overestimated, overestimated money's power and underestimated spoken word because writing will free your mind, but your voice has the power to make the most blindest person see. The same way TV makes the most visual people blind. Limited, I'm talking about you. Why stop listening to the radio? They invading you. Betraying my people, leaning like cholos and my people leaning and snapping at the trap in which they fall into the trap and selling the crackers. Crack not too different from the cracker that whipped that a motherfucking cracker got his name from. And that's why I don't blame folks for comparing old plantations to modern day slums. Limited well, don't require your mind. All my life I've been asked, hey dog, you Chinese or nah nah, bro from Mexico. What the what? What the fuck is a Philomon's fucking Pino? Hell if I know. I mean Pops always told me that we did take the most Spanish Catholic dick on the Asian side of the globe. And I guess that's why sometimes I almost tear when when Manny Pacquiao wins his, his bouts or when non Filipinas and Filipinos know about Senegal, Bika, Chicken, and Dobo. Or oh, I reverse on the way I used to hate like skinned Filipinos because I love my granny and shit, but Spanish brain watched her to think light was right. And she used to tell me to stop playing in the sun. And that shit had me hotter than the jalapenos and on the basis of what? I've always been told I know nothing about me. What, because I hung out with blacks and Latinos, I know less than you? Fuck that, let me tell you about the shit that I know. The game that my people breed and teach and how sometimes if you ain't from these parts of the hood, then just don't fucking pass through, because hype is not happy. They just might blast you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not done. Hype <laughs> <laughs> she is not happy, they just might blast you. This shit is past me. My creative constituents is left the dead. Pioneers and trendsetters. Not really close and jewelry on the outside, just gold mines and those mines that are derived from hard times while imperialists, or should I say, the class is higher class, steal all that gold from us real niggas, because they got so much motherfucking money that they money is all they think. And then they advertise our shit to a bunch of middle class culture bunch to run around claiming they know about this lifestyle. But in reality, they don't know shit. And while the rich get richer by stealing from the poor slash most wealthiest thinkers, I see the type of light in my mind kept out by the blinds on how stupid people own shit and the real intellectuals is only left to nickel and die. Limited well, don't confide your mind. Stop reading magazines, they sell the dreams that you spent half your life trying to afford. <laughs> the American dream. <laughs> Fuck that phony ass, fabricated, philosophical, vivid, fictitious ass king. Half my homies is twice as smart as me, yet half as fortunate. Forced into sell, forced into crack cocaine, selling dreams to AC fortune, yet. And I emphasize this question. Do you honestly think that we chose to live with drug dealers, cat pillars, and body bag sales? Get the fuck up out of here. It's 2007. Not by choice, but by force. The other half of my homies wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning just to catch the bar and two buses to go to school outside of East Oakland. Meanwhile, while people like Tom and Kelly, who by the way, they dropped off in their parent, parents' belly, have the motherfucking nerve to call us lazy. Fuck that. 
This shit is called a setback that few overcome. And they know it's there and that it exists. They just try to downplay it every time we turn the volume up on their ass about its existence. <laughs> Limited wealth, don't confide your mind as we continue to enlighten and educate ourselves at these fine institutions of higher education making rich people richer as, as zombies in a system of systematic depression with video game systems igniting the ignorance within keeping us or isolating us from real intelligence as you continue to ingest this informative infomercial that your intel is telling you. Just know, just because the side don't live here no more, of, of the fact that Jose Rizal, uh, Malcolm X, Carlos Bullison, uh, uh, Huey P. Newton, uh, Stanley Tiffany Williams is dead, don't think that revolution left and went to the grave with them. And honestly, this is why I wake up sometimes at 5 in the morning, because as your intelligence quotient is dropping, I'm simply thinking of ways to bring unity back to the community, because all my life I've been limited, but I refuse to confine my mind. Peace, love you, New York.